Photoshop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create colourful blocks or obviously colourful squares like this in Photoshop using the brick fill. Now first thing to do, I'm just going to quickly go back to new, completely new document. Now there does seem to be a slight issue with the brick fill that it crashes, certainly on my version, when or it certainly causes problems with it. If you have a say select an entire, say you select that and then apply the brick fill. That can be found in the edit and fill command there. Right, work around for that. I found just go and select say something like this, rectangle, and then set the opacity to six, six percent or something very, very subtle, and just apply it there. Now that's been added for that block. Now you can of course, if you select another area of white or green or a solid colour, basically just go and add a very subtle difference in that then it will work because otherwise it seems to have a problem with the spacing. Now, just go to edit and define pattern. And once you've actually got that defined pattern there, then I'm just going to deselect that, I don't want that anymore. And then go to edit and fill and just select that pattern that I just created. You see it's basically all but a little bit of it, it is basically white. So just select that. Make certain script, select pattern there, and brick fill, and all the rest keep like that. Click OK. Then comes up with this. Now you can see you can modify the spacing. Now, if you don't actually put that little subtle orange in, for some weird reason, or green or anything else, it puts the spacing back to zero right at this far end and then crashes. Don't know why. Anyway, what you can do, you can obviously modify the spacing if you want, you can modify the scale and Color randomness, that's the key thing for the whole of this thing. So color randomness and brightness randomness. Just go there, click OK, and then you can see the design there. Just quickly applied there. And obviously you can, what you can do, you can also use layer, new layer, click OK. So you can add it to a layer as well. Just go to edit and fill. Again, pattern, again, use the same one there. Script, brick fill, click OK, and set the scale. Now you'll notice the actual what it looks like here doesn't actually end up matching the thing. But, and there's the design there. So obviously it's not so small, but it's still added there. And you can see then you've obviously got two layers. And of course with layers you can then use darken and difference and so on and so on. Create a whole range of different colourful designs with the background. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.